People of Earth, welcome back to Rambo Mania. This is the uh, last segment of today's very lengthy by request. Um, as prequel months come to a cl uh, come to a close, um, you know, in this season within a season two of Rambo Mania, um, we've got just a lot. We have a lot to talk about still until we reach the Chapman uh, finale. Coming on uh, Easter Tuesday, I believe. Um, however, you know, tomorrow tomorrow we got some great, you know, closing out topics as well. We're going to deal with the whole, or with what I believe is the last, uh, the most uh, brilliant of the uh, the prequel prequelization uh, topic or or, or or theorem or or films and 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 ideas, you know. And all it takes is an idea to make, you know, some of the of the best things in life. Um, without ideas, we wouldn't have the great place we take for granted right now. Um, however, you know, in in my heart, the best prequel uh, related topic so far, hands down, has been uh, Mickey Cardoni's Pick Mick campaign. Um, it just goes the extra mile. And <clears throat> I would just love to see a full-length Mickey Cardoni Rambo, you know, feature. I, I do hope if they do make a prequel, I really hope it's Mickey in it. Because Mickey can really, Mickey really brings it to the table. You know, hands down, Mickey's just great talent all around. You know, musician, uh, in the direction, and, you know, otherwise. The talents of, um himself and and Jonas are just unmatched um they're just a really great team um just brings forth that epicness and um the realism you know required to uh keep the franchise the Rambo franchise alive um you know and how awesome would that be you know having a Rambo movie set in Canada again you know once more just like First Blood have it go out the way it came in and you know they could probably reboot or alternate the Rambo universe after that say if they had Mickey you know do the do the reboot or not the reboot but do the do the prequel and then reboot it into an all new universe that would be fantastic and I would really 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 love to see it so uh all right let's get down to let's get down to brass tacks um you know thank you for watching our uh, by request segment once again i want to thank everybody for the requests um i had a really really great time even though this thing went on a little long um i just had a really great time hanging with all of you today and you know like i said it's been a dream of mine to do this show and from ideas like i said before comes these great things and i'm so happy you know to be able to meet so many of you out there and um just all the interactive element um i really wasn't expecting rambo mania to get that element in the beginning but now i'm so thankful that it did so thank you so, now, no introduction necessary for the, um, the next film we're going to discuss. I've covered it before in much, much due to length detail. And, you know, for that review, I suggest you go back and check out Season 1's Flooding with Love for the Zack Attack. We did a full-length trailer review as well for uh, Mr. Zachary Oberzon's flooding with love for the kid on our Christmas special um, you know just a fantastic adaptation of David Morrell's First Blood 1972 um, you know it's the no budget masterpiece is a force to be reckoned with like seriously it's it's awesome then awesome is awesome and you know 
we got some great praise from Oberzon, who I am so thankful, you know, that he liked our uh, review. And maybe I'll post um, some of the uh, fan mail we got in the video. Well, maybe not this time, but um, I'm going to try to get um, Zachary to come on the show. Um, and, you know, maybe we can do it then. Um, you know, David Morrell himself loves this movie and has even given it his blessing, you know? So, like, go check out Zachary Oberzon on YouTube and on uh, Vimo. And um, he'll let you know where you can get your hands on this uh, much, you know, thought through gorilla epic. Um, it's just insanely cool, you know, to think of how this fan film came together. You know, I, ca I can't stress enough how you should go out and get this movie. Um, like, right now. Um, it's a must. It will impress, shock, and, and blow you away. And it really tugs on the heartstrings. Like like I said, it's a must for any Rambo fan. Um, and it will look great on your shelf, right between your DVD or Blu-ray, or VHS, or beta, of, uh, or maybe all of the above, for First Blood 1982 and your paperback first blood 1972 or maybe you're a hard copy um you know a heartfelt classic you know this is indeed and i want to thank zach again for sending us the free screening and taking time to talk with uh, me online about his uh feature because it's really um a feat of engineering really impressive just to see how this came to get like together um, and there's even a documentary online, um, when you go looking for the DVD, it's, uh, coincided with it as well. So, uh, you know, who, who knows? Maybe we can get him on the show soon. So let's try and maybe possibly we can do it, you know, you never know if you don't try. So, um, as we prepare to move back into season two's core, chronologically, I might add, um, I just had to reissue the, well, this topic. It's well, it's well worth it. Uh, sorry it's brief, but it belongs and it fits here perfectly and is a key essential figurative piece to get back to the cult phenom half of, um, season two as we close off the prequel months. Um, it's pretty much the last week of prequel months. And, uh, it's pretty good, you know, doing... <sighs> You know, like, wow. Two months, um, well, like, a little over two months to get all these videos out. And I had a blast. And thank you for watching. Like, I, I can't stress enough, you know, thank you for taking the time, like, the time to come on this journey with us. Um, it really means a lot. And you guys are all great. And I love you all. Um, so, this is not a prequel per se, but it's a great standalone film. And next up, we're going to look at... Um, a couple of different things we're going to look at like uh Chepovsky's um you know prequel trailer piece and career and the uh closest we're also going to look at what I believe is the closest official thing to a Rambo prequel you know it's sly voiced and you know Goldsmith score included the um the freshly released well, you know, almost freshly released. We did the uh, release day reaction video as sent to us by Wild Man Beyond for Rambo, um, the video game, the new video game. Um, the Reef prequel is like the first playable level for it. Um, and it's, it's kind of equally hated and equally loved, but you be the judge. Uh, we're not going to look at the game in its entirety. We're just going to look at the um, the stuff that touches on the prequel because we're going to be coming back to do a extra full length version with Wild Man Beyond when we're going to have screenshots from the game, a uh, complete walkthrough and review of the game as a whole. He's going to talk about. I'm I'm assuming he's getting this game, so I think he's going to maybe talk. I'm going to ask him to maybe talk about the. Uh, <clears throat> the control mechanisms and the hands-on and um, unfortunately it's not coming out for Xbox so I can't play it 
So I'm going to ask Wildman to talk about the playable side of things. Um, if, if he's played it by then, you know. Um, we're also going to take a look into the world of Wallace Lee. His great, um, critically acclaimed um, Rambo prequel novel. Um, I'm trying to schedule with Wallace. Uh, we've talked uh, briefly online. <clears throat> and I think we're going to be hooking something up. Um, so expect to hear from him uh, probably in season two. <coughs> Sorry, um, as well. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to try to uh, cover all that in the next broadcast. <clears throat> and I believe on Tuesday, Easter Tuesday, we're going to do our Passover Chapman Extended epic special um we just got so much great stuff to talk about and i'm so happy that it's almost finally time to get to the chapman because you know due to you know scheduling and work events and and just you know being busy and the uh barrage well not not the barrage i don't think that's the right word but the uh amount of episodes and last minute episodes that we found to include into uh prequel month or the prequel months you know, it's been a, a little delayed. And I'm sorry for the delay. But uh, coming up next on Rambo Mania, we're going to check that out. So, um, thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you. Look at that. We actually went pretty long. It looks like it's going to be ten parts. And it's like almost, what, almost, uh, almost a little, little around an hour and 45 minutes. So, um, I got to wrap this up. But, uh... Rambo Mania would just not be the same without you. Um, and, you know, I guess that's welcome to the last week of the uh, prequel months. And, you know, even after this, though, we got some great surprises coming to you as we get back into our cult f phenom side of um, the flip side of season two. Uh, we got a really great Mayday special with uh, featuring Wild Man Beyond. It will be his uh, third appearance so welcome to the last week of the prequel months thank you for watching by request thank you again for everyone um, sending in your requests it's been fun and i can't wait to do the next one and if anyone's got any ideas drop me a line and we'll get to it so take care have a great day and i'll see you later bye